anything. They, um, another one with his munchie here. They, there, it was just so great. They give you so many resources, so many people that I've reached out to and have helped me. And I just feel so confident moving forward in my business. So I just wanted to thank you guys and say it's totally worth it. Do it. Thank you, Jenny, so much. Which courses did you take before? I took um, um, the dental sleep toolbox, the four month yeah. course with Brittany and Carice. And then the, your course was my second course. And I am seeing patients and I'm feeling more confident and it's so fun. I love it. Yay. Thank you so much. You know, I said I should have invited somebody and I didn't even do it. And you came, so thank you. This is amazing. Of course. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my gosh. How exciting. By the way, I'm looking to hire somebody if anybody wants to come work for me. <laughs> and my, and, uh, my moves. Yes. I need somebody, but I need somebody that's ready to take a bunch of patients. We are super busy. Um, if you guys know anybody that has a little bit of um, experience also, just let me know. So we are, gosh, I got to take that out of the recording. <laughs> So let's see. I think Tamara is just busy. So let's do. <clears throat> I'm going to go live on Instagram. Let me put a filter. We can do better on Instagram. You guys can see the real me here, though. All right. Mm, my main focus is finding airway focus providers in my area. Oh, that's the truth. Right? Always. Hello, hello, everybody. We are live. I'm going to wait for my girls to come and I'm going to have to mute myself as soon as that happens. Um, or I wonder if I can just put the volume way down on my phone. Try that, Ange. The volume is way down on my phone. Or I wonder if I can... Hold on. Okay, the volume's down on my phone. All right, is it all the way down? Yep. All right, can you join me on there? Hey, Dr. Billy, how are you? Oh, there you are. <clears throat> okay, we are live and we're going to talk about myofunctional therapy. Anything you guys want to know? Let me see if I have a, I should have like planned a way. It does not let me mute completely. There you go. Oh, you guys hey, Dr. Me? Chang. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Tracy Chen there. Oh my goodness, I have so many people on Instagram. So we are live over here on Zoom and Instagram. So we're going to be looking in both, both places. But we are here tonight to talk about uh, starting your myofunctional therapy business, really answering any questions you guys have about myofunctional therapy. We are here to help you guys. Y'all know how big we are into um, making sure that everybody feels confident. Hey, Dr. Tracy. Making sure that everybody um, has every tool, everything that they need to launch their practice. You got an echo? I think I do. That's me. You got to meet yourself somewhere. Or yep, not. Just did. Under that. Hold on. I hear myself there. Maybe I can put my ear in. Hold on. We'll try to fix this, everybody. <laughs> I muted my laptop. Oh, that's an echo. That's horrible. Can you hear okay. me now? Do I still have an echo? I got you. Yep, you're good. The way that we did it last time, we actually muted ourselves when I lean in. <laughs> I can't lean in. <laughs> but I hear myself now. Um, I think the last time we muted ourselves here on Zoom or on the computer and we left the phone going. We got you know, yeah, that's that's it. All right. As long as you guys can hear us, I'm going to keep hearing myself twice over here. That's super weird. Um, Alrighty, guys. So you guys know how big we are into trying to, to help everybody. I mean, this field needs, you know, it's growing so fast. Um, and people are a little lost because, you know, there's no standardized um, education in myofunctional therapy. People are taking all these courses and then you're just thrown into the world, go see patients. And you're like, well, how do I really do this? You know, what am I supposed to be looking at? How do I even start? You know, and we're not exactly hold on is that better at all i don't hear the echo danelle maybe turn um, i don't know i'm not gonna be able to hear you so i know that i have to i can hear you okay now so i think i'm gonna have to mute the computer 
think I'm gonna okay, so I'm muted the computer now and I'm gonna turn my okay, so phone up. You guys let me know if that's better. There you go. Mm. Is that and better on I'm Zoom? Saying, turn the, the phone up and mute the computer. I think that's why you have it already, right? Yes, I have that on okay, that. Fix from okay, that fix guy. From that still guy. here on Zoom. Here on Zoom. I wonder what you guys can hear on Zoom. On Zoom. Hmm. Hmm. Angela, can you Angela, talk? Can you talk? Yeah, can you hear me Is okay? Angela, Am I, I on echo? But I can't hear I you. Can't you need to be on somewhere. I'm on. I'm fine. Can you turn your volume up on the phone? Try that. Can you hear me okay there? Now I can hear you on my phone. Is there an echo? <clears throat> no, for me. Okay, Angela sounds fine. She always sounds she fine. <laughs> <laughs> She's silent. Oh gosh, hold on. No, I think she. I think you guys are gonna be able to hear her on the phone. There you go. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right. Do I still have an okay. echo though? So maybe I need to put my. If I try to turn my Bluetooth on my computer, it's gonna kick me out of the live. Uh -oh. No echo for me either. You guys can hear me. Okay. Okay. I'll take this off. You guys, let me know. Okay. Is that good? Like right. echo right out of technical di difficulties. Okay, y'all let me know. I'm gonna keep talking. Good? I think we're good. All right, awesome. Well, while well, saying that, you know, there's no standardized education in this field, and you know, most of us who are hygienists and even speech pathologists that are here, whenever we learn my uh, our own profession, so dental hygiene and speech. We are constantly watching somebody do it. We practice a lot before we're thrown out there. Um, and with this, it's like, here are the concepts. What's happening to you? <laughs> ignore it. Nope, ignore. <laughs> oh, good. I'm better now. Good. So, um, and, you know, we don't really know exactly step by step, and especially dental hygienists, anybody in the dental field, like we are super uh, we like to follow step by step exactly what to do. Show me exactly what to do. So that's what we did with Launcher Inner Mayo. We literally, we start, the first module is on business. Uh, how do you even start a business? You know, we, we're really, as in hygiene, most of us are not allowed, they're not able to own our own practice. How do you even, you know, set up all of that stuff? We literally go step by step and we show you exactly what to do. All you have to do is just open your other screen and copy exactly what we're doing. Uh, and then we talk about your logo, choosing your logo. <laughs> Tamara just messaged us, this is coming. Uh, how to choose your logo, what is it supposed to look like? We have a class with Justin Collins, who is our... Uh, website guru on Airy Circle. He takes care of the website. He does the logos and and everything. And he's done several of of our friends' websites. If you guys go to Tamara's Facial Physique, he did that website. Uh, girls uh, that are here, if Justin did your website, uh, you can write it down on the chat box so people can go check it out. Your uh, www dot <clears throat> Your website.com <laughs> uh, but he's done some fantastic work but he has a, you, we have a class with him and he explains exactly um, what to look for what you guys should be doing website and logo wise he's a branding guy and he's brilliant um, we also had um, we also had um, a lawyer come talk to us about uh, trademarking should you trademark your logo should you trademark your tagline how is it important? I actually trademarked everything. And I just finally, I think it takes like six months. I just got everything back in the mail this week saying everything has been approved. So just to, for you guys to, to know exactly what I trademarked. I trademarked uh, Myo Moves logo and I trademarked the name and I trademarked um, what it says underneath it. I have um, breathe, eat, sleep, and thrive underneath so nobody can copy that really i mean i'm not going to be that mean about it but you know and <laughs> but that is best b-e-s-t breathe breathe eat sleep and thrive uh so that's underneath my logo and then with airy circle we have the logo not only the design but the name hey girl <laughs> tamra's here uh tamra if you can mute yourself 
on uh, or me not mute yourself but turn your volume off on the computer and go on instagram so you can join us over there too <clears throat> and then have your volume where you can hear us on your phone um and then uh but every circle's name and every circle tagline did she leave <laughs> you gotta uh, say she just put her face on uh okay. she's on her way yeah you still stay on zoom um with airy circle is connect share collaborate so we have that and also where's your tongue and i breathe in my nose there you go all of that is, is trademarked um so anyways but he goes and he offers a very cheap also way to do it through him um module two i think it is correct me if i'm, if I'm wrong and we go through setting up your office what are you supposed to buy what exactly are you supposed to have? You know what I mean? These are things that nobody really walks us through. Well, we do step by step, I'm telling you. So you're going to get to see Angela's uh, office, exactly how she has set it up. You're going to see Tamara's office, which Tamara, most of her patients are online. Now she is seeing people in person. So you need to record her, her new office um, yeah. to show you guys what she has over there. And then I also see patients in person and online. So you kind of get to see exactly, depending on what your situation is, exactly what we did. <clears throat> and then we go through how to do a full evaluation. You get to see all three of us do our evaluations, and each one of us does it a little bit differently. Um, let me add Tamara here. Each one of us does it a little bit differently. Uh, and you're going to be able to pick, you know, a little bit from each one of us, whatever you, you would like. Uh, it's funny, uh, the girls that did the course, there you are. Welcome. The, the girls that did the course, they said that it was funny because each one of us has such a different, you know, different personalities. Do you guys remember what they described? I do remember. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Angela is type A, very organized. Is that right? <laughs> That's what they said. <laughs> very organized, uh, the way that she does things. What else did they say, Tamara? What did they say, Tamara? I don't remember that. <laughs> Tamara, the way that you do um, the education part was fantastic. You know, the way that she shows the, the PowerPoint before. <laughs> oh, Danelle's here. Yay, Danelle's on Zoom. What else did hey, you guys uh, uh, I have a question here for you. Um, if someone has to leave early, are you going to post this recording somewhere? Yes. So this is going to be uh, recorded. And everybody who registered, if you guys on, on Instagram here have not registered, please go to uh, the link on the uh bio and you register for the three-day live and you're going to get emails with the excuse me with the recordings the recordings are only going to be um out there for a certain amount of time and then they're going to come off the air but they stay for whoever gets lunch in or mayo they stay there for you guys to watch it over and over not that you want to <laughs> watch me talking over and over but anyways they talked about our personalities and i was a fun one i just want to say that <laughs> That's all I remember. All right. <laughs> um, do you guys have any questions so far? Your tongue is up. Nice, Dr. Billy. <laughs> Where's your tongue? So since That's there's right. been since there's been such a talk about this lately, uh, if you guys want me, I can go a little bit into it. Uh, I don't know if I should. Tongue position. Uh, should I? Maybe just, a, maybe just a quick little part. Okay. The so, tongue position. Where's your wine? I actually have some in the fridge. I need to go get it. Well, who keeps on texting these messages? And who's going to bring really? us some? Uh, <laughs> I need some. So, okay. I know I put it out there. So I'm going to give you guys just a little bit of it. Uh, in Brazil, they used to teach tip of the tongue on the spot 20 over 20 years ago they no longer use that they no longer teach that and it is still what's being 
<laughs> and it's still being used widely in every single course that we take um, over here. So why? Some people are going to be able to, but they say that naturally, functionally, we don't keep the tip of the tongue over there. It's more of like the interior third of the tongue that rests up there. You know, nobody's going to walk around like this. <laughs> Just with the tip, you know. So whenever we're doing these exercises, tip to the spot, you don't have to focus. And I've had uh, this question a lot, actually. Should I put the elastic on the tip of the tongue or like a little bit further behind, you know? So it is a little bit further behind. It doesn't have to be perfect. But those patients who have a very long face, like me, dolio patients, who are much longer than they are wider, comfortably, they're not going to be able to keep their the tip of the tongue way up behind the size of the when I close my mouth and I swallow, the whole back of my tongue, the middle and the back is completely suctioned. But the tip of my tongue is actually touching my lower interiors on the bottom, behind the bottom teeth. You guys now on here on Instagram and on Zoom, let us know where the tip of your tongue is whenever you close your mouth comfortably, swallow. Close your eyes so you can really tell. <laughs> Tell us where the tip of your tongue rests comfortably. But your tongue needs to be put it touched. in the chat. Put it in the chat. <clears throat> Spot. You're perfect, Sarah. So if the tip of the tongue is on the spot and it is not um it's not touching your teeth at all. So they say that the tongue is spot. The tongue does not change occlusion. That's another one. Sorry. It contributes and it, you know, it's a maintainer. Mine's on the spot. Just learned it six months ago. Um, I know, but the thing is that we drive ourselves to make sure the tip is on the spot. So if I actually swallow with the tip of my tongue on the spot, I swallow air and I'm going to start burping now every single time. And to your third toward the spot, mine is a little against the upper teeth and it's perfectly fine. Spot, but maybe because I'm used to practicing that now. I know, but like if you feel, if you have a long face and you can feel like your tongue is jamming in the back, you know, of your throat. I've had patients say, I feel like I'm choking if I put my tongue there, the tip of my tongue there. You know, you don't have to force it. So the, you know, the most important, the most important thing is the vacuum seal. You have to be able to seal everything up there. So the lateral borders of the tongue have to be beside your, uh, on the laterals of the teeth, on the sides of the teeth. Uh, and the anterior portion is just not as important um, as the rest <clears throat> being all the way up there. So there you go. It was a little bit longer than I wanted to go. Um, questions. Do you guys have any questions? Oh, I'll good. Like Danielle, you're back. Um, yeah, so many are commenting on Zoom. Yes, this is what I'm used to doing. Uh, I've been doing that way yeah, for tongue thrusts, especially. Um, just learned this six months ago. Mine is on the spot, on the spot. Um, oh, um, Veronica, Veronica says uh, lower anteriors. I thought I was dysfunctional. I don't have my buys, so I thought it was because I was too small. It was too, it was too small to fit my tongue. So my probably... Palate. Your tongue is always going to take shape of the oral cavity. Whatever room you have there, it's always going to shape to fit whatever is over there. If you're missing a tooth, all of a sudden you get a tooth pulled out. Guess what's going to happen? A little bit of your tongue is going to fit right in there. You know, it's always going to find exactly where, you know, it's going to conform to that shape. So in myofunctional therapy, we can actually uh, help increase the intraoral space by doing several of the exercises that we do. Um, but the tongue is always gonna conform. So whenever we're talking about this, is it always okay to have the tip of the tongue low? You gotta look, does this person have any obvious dysfunction? So are you, do you have occlusion, malocclusion? Do you have swallowing issues? Do you have um, whatever it is, you know, do you have anything that needs to be addressed? If you have anything that needs to be addressed, and at that point, yes, it needs to be addressed, especially skeletally. If you're 
um, if you have malocclusion, if you're not big enough and you need expansion, then you're going to need expansion. Um, but some people are going to be okay swallowing and keeping it, you know, or as posture, keeping their tongue low. They don't have to necessarily have this function. Some do, but not everybody. Dr. Martha! <laughs> Dr. Martha. Uh, Dr. Billy said, only when I'm mindful about it, trying to correct rest posture, palate is too small. Exactly. What is your molar to molar, Dr. Billy? <laughs> My molar to molar is super small. I am a 31. 31. So, yes, I mean, I've been putting my head that I want to get expanded. I want to get expanded, but I used to have really bad headaches and I don't anymore. It's because okay. you know what your proper tongue posture is now. You know, I don't. So, who knows if I really need to go through all of that right now? Um, I have a thrust client who can't lift the posterior because the tip strength from prior practice is so prominent. This is very interesting. So we gotta look at those muscles underneath the tongue. What what is it gonna take to lift the tongue, the back portion of the tongue up, and the the muscles on the top of the tongue that are gonna pull the back of the tongue up. <clears throat> Make sure that those are all good. Make sure there's no restriction. But yes, those thrust clients. That's one thing. You don't have to work on tip of the tongue strength because they're they're already so strong. So those clients that you have tongue thrust, you just work on the back of the tongue, most of them. What do you do for correcting tongue thrust if you do not want to emphasize tip to the spot? Um, so what happens, somebody's already predisposed to getting occlusal issues, okay? If you get a bunch of 30 children and every single one of them has a pacifier for the same amount of time, the same amount of you know, frequency and whatever intensity, some of them are going to have an open bite, some of them are not. You know, some people are already predisposed to occlusion issues, occlusion issues. The issue is that as soon as it starts opening, guess what happens? The tongue goes right in there. The tongue is always going to take shape of everything. So it does not cause it. The tongue is not the cause, but it's going to be what maintains it. Um, yes, you have to get the tongue out of the way. But then you got to look, you know, because it's a skeletal issue. That's why a person needs expansion. Uh, questions, guys. I know I'm talking about something I'm not supposed to be talking about. You're narrow. Are you going to measure? It? I can't see I think it. we need a class in, Bra in uh, Portuguese so we can take those classes with you. Yeah. I'll measure <laughs> or translate. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> good. I have, uh, good. what else? I have, uh, guys, if you have any questions, let us know. So, going back to the course. After you have taken After your first malfunctional therapy, therapy course, 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 now what? Now That's the topic what? for today. Topic for what, today. Do I do? what do I do? So, so we talk about business, we talk about setting up your room, we talk about doing a full evaluation, and then we talk about planning your therapy session. What do you exactly what need to exactly have in front of you? you? What do you need the room to look like? If you're going to see a person virtually, if you're going to see a person um on virtually online in person um what exactly do you need what do you need to clean you know do you need to um is it always oh, echoing again <clears throat> yes i wonder how i can turn that off Ooh, good question oh, any no, advice when trying to help families with financial constraints and or no qualified professionals near them well, that's what we have Airway Circle for is we have a big uh, collaboration team on the website and it's a free directory. And we talk on the professionals page. And if you're not a member, Insta Sam seems okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. So now, okay. Okay. That's a great question. Yeah. 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 She said, um, how much money do you think it's needed to start up an investment? startup investment. So we all know that one myofunctional therapy course is not enough. You have to take more than one. You can take, you can, you know, take one course and start seeing family members here and there, but every course out there is a little bit different. So I would not do two from one association. I would try to do one from this association and another one from a different group. Uh, so you can get a little bit of each, a little bit of information. Tamara, do you have your computer muted? The volume yeah. off on your computer? 
I don't know why we're. Yeah, I think it was me. Is it all good? Can um, Zoom? Uh, uh, Katie says it's better now. Yeah, it was me. Mm -hmm. Let me grab my um, earbuds. Okay, yeah, go ahead. So, you know, just courses wise, you're going to need to take more than one to feel comfortable with it. And then, um, but to start your own place, it depends. Are you going to do it online or are you going to do it? Um, in person, in person, that your investment is going to be a lot bigger. But I do not recommend you going out and renting an office right now. Don't do that. Start seeing patients online first. Get comfortable, or go talk to a dentist. Ask if you can use one of their rooms, or a chiropractor, or a physical therapist, or somebody else. See if you can use one of their rooms. Even on Saturdays, when I started, I used to use my dental office on Saturdays when there was nobody there. I, I would do all my evaluations over there. I was not taking any chair time. I, was, I didn't, my dentist was fantastic, so I didn't have to pay anything. Um, and it was my own referrals. Um, so start like that. Do not go renting a place right away. It's going to take time for you to, to get busy. And then start seeing other providers. Start going to start a study club. We'll talk about that towards the end of the, um, towards the end of the course also how to start a study club. We'll give you guys PowerPoints that you can go and take your, I mean, everything's already ready for you. I'm telling you, we all wish that we had this course when we started because we give everything. Everybody uh -huh. that's taken the course knows that we don't hold anything back. Any question that you guys have, will tell you this is how you do it. It's fine. You want, a, you want a report? Here's an example of a report. This is what I've done for my patients. You can literally take it change the logo and make it your own. Um, gosh, we give so much stuff, all of our forms, every single one of our forms, HIPAA, financial stuff, um, patient, uh, patient information, medical history, everything. I usually do a history form before they come to see me. And that's a very complete history there. Um, that I like to do. And a lot of people do that during the consultation or during the full evaluation. I get it done before, but you guys are going to see all of that. There you go. The now saying this course shares it all with you. It changes how you see yourself. Yes, how you can do it. Um, somebody, I think was Cherie, got three patients in like a month. Immediately. And this, is what I'm, this is what I'm telling everybody. The second you get one patient, your investment is paid for for this course. So literally, if you can get one patient out of this course, your investment is paid for, and you're going to leave there feeling so confident and so comfortable. You're taking more people. Um, Dr. Martha Cortez has six times to develop a following. So the patients refer you patients, and they are dental and medical practitioners. Uh, Dr. Martha Cortez, I just talked to actually one of our mutual patients, and they were like, where Dr. Martha? I said, I just saw her this weekend. I'll send you a message. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Billy said, I do the best I can and try to relay messages there. Learn from you all. Thank you so much. Um, so, yes, if you don't have people around you that are doing these things, you know, Savannah, where I am, I don't have anybody. And I have a very busy practice. But I see people from all over the place. Uh, but I'm always trying to find. Airway Circle is the first thing I do. Directory on Airway Circle. Let's go try to find somebody. Uh, locally, what did I do? I actually made appointments for an ENT, for example. I made appointments for me and my ch my child, regular ENT and a pediatric ENT, so I could get to meet them. And I mean, as soon as I walk in there, I take flyers and I take um, or brochures and I take um, research. research and I start talking. By the way, I do math functional therapy. <laughs> Lisa, we, I thought that you were here for a nosebleed. Well, actually. <laughs> So, I mean, you're going to have, you know, that's the, the time investment and the, um, it's, you know, it's part of the, the investment you're having to pay for a visit so you can get in front of somebody. If there's not another way for you to get in front of that practitioner, but go to the office, take them some cookies, take them something, take, you, you know, your flyers and your, you know, these are signs and symptoms to look for. We have brochures. You don't even have to make your own brochures. Go on airwaycircle.com, go on the store, and we have brochures that we spent months putting together. It is all research. You guys can feel confident that the information in there is accurate. There's references in the back and uh, ask to do lunch and learns. Go to an office. Say, I'd love to come talk to you guys about what I do. I'll buy you lunch. Part of the investment. 
And I'm going to keep talking if you guys don't cut me off. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. I, yeah. Oh, Dr. Martha, that was brilliant to make an appointment for your child. Yeah, I think that we've, a lot of us have all done that as well. And I feel, uh, oh, there's a question. How to expand the maxilla after adult growth is done. Dr. Martha, do you want to come live and explain? I know you guys on Zoom can see her. But Dr. Martha, if you, I don't know if you're in a place, I think you're in Denver, aren't you? Oh, Danelle says you give away so much, Renata. But yeah, the course is the course is designed into different mod, modules and we release them um, a certain bit at a time. And then we meet for Q and A's, live Q and A's. And that way, whatever questions you have, then you can ask us live and you can go through the modules and you can watch and rewatch. And it's always something that you can um, just reach out to us individually. And even if you watch, um, say one of my, my uh, recordings, then you'll be able to ask Renata something or Tamara something, but whatever you type into the question, all three of us receive the question. So you may actually, may actually receive answers from all three of us. So it just, it just depends on, on um, you know, the question, of course. How often are the Q and A's? Once a month. Is it every other week? Oh, is it every, every other November. week, camera? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we sped it up. We sped it up. It was once a month before, and then the last class wanted it to be a little bit faster, so yeah. 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 I just oh, can you hear me? Dr. Martha, there okay. should be a little camera on the bottom, I think. There's a, you should say accept request to join the live or something like that. So you can explain, you're probably the best one to explain how do you extend the maxilla after a growth, adult growth is done. Uh, so there's several devices out there that you can use to expand your maxilla. True skeletal expansion. We all know that MARPI, SARPI, drone procedures. Oh, there she is, I think things of that nature. There she is. You guys on Zoom are not going to be able to see her. I will put it right here so you guys can see Dr. Martha. Here's a question that came in um, before Dr. Hi, Dr. Martha, before you um, go into your explanation, I'm going to continue to answer questions that are coming in on Zoom. Um, piggybacking on Haiti's question, what days do you guys meet for Q&As? Usually they're on Sunday evenings, uh, sometimes around what 6 p.m. on uh, Sunday evenings, uh, Eastern time. Um, let's see. You have a waiting list. Oh, okay. Fantastic. Wow. Danelle, I got your message. So that's awesome. Yep. Yeah, keep the questions coming in and then, uh, we'll just pop in and, and get these questions answered. Yep. Yeah, keep popping questions to us. And Dr. Martha, all you. Can you guys mm -hmm. all zoom here, Dr. Martha? Let me know. Thank you ladies for teaching me. <laughs> Are you in Denver? <laughs> Ah, uh, you are your mom. and the caretaker of my mother of ninety-one years. Amazing. Oh, oh yeah, I have quite a life because I have triple cat, forty or more. Wow. Multiple, multiple patients, three assistants. Wow. But I, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm happy. Uh, <laughs> but uh, like Sunday, I fly out and we shoot a film documentary on craniofacial, and I fly back. Uh, one in the morning, I'll get three hours of sleep, just like you, Renata. Sounds so familiar, you Mrs. How do you get Latina. It's exciting. it's exciting. It's exciting what's going on because there's so much attention being paid to airway, so much attention not to say misdiagnosis, ADHD, depression, anxiety. No, it's the airway. It's not cardiovascular disease. That's already the pathology of all this airway issue. So it's so great to, to have you guys. It's like the first thing in 2012, I became a myofunctional therapist only to understand what is done. And that's when I found out about Brazil versus Libania with exercises. Yes, but let me, let me tell you guys. It's, it's airway exercises. Let me tell you guys, it is not the exercises. We get this question often. But which exercises did you use? Which exercises did you use? The answer is for who? It depends. It depends on the patient. So if you guys go look at the study that Brazil did showing a reduction in sleep apnea or AHI scores or whatever it was uh, from my functional therapy exercises, you're going to have a list 
That is not the list that you should be using. Why? Because whenever you do, and this is what one of Dr. Esther Bianchini explained to me. Whenever you use, uh, whenever you do a study, a research study, you have to have everything be the same. So they had to pick these exercises to be able to give it to every single person, but it's not what they would have done when they're treating these people. So just keep that in mind when somebody asks, but which exercise did you do? The exercise that that person needed, that's the one. We have another question. So maybe not the best time to read, what is this? Uh, a simple flow chart trying, tying in ADHD to airway and the steps along the way to push our doctor friends providers. We have a great brochure on sleep disorder breathing for children, sleep disorder breathing for adults. Um, what else do we have? Mouth breathing, tongue thrust, oral ties myofunctional therapy, uh, but I like that idea of having something super clear. You know, there there is tons of research out there showing. Who's giving us some hearts? Guys, give us some hearts on Instagram. Thank you. Click on there, har har har. That shows Instagram will show more people that we are live. Um, <clears throat> we have another question over here. Um, a link. Well, we are live on Zoom, Dr. Martha. No, meaning answer the question because we're not answering them fully. <laughs> I know we are live on Zoom, and um, when you speak, I don't think they can hear very well. Oh, I know. I have spoken about it. Just friendly push. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I, I still want you to answer the expansion question. How do you expand adults after they are fully grown? But let me answer uh, Haiti's question real quick. Um, what's your limit on exercises per week? I'm just afraid to discourage our patients. That is a great question. It is going to depend on how far you are with therapy and what the age of the patient and exactly what the patient needs. Recently, I have had two patients that they were only tongue-tie patients. Like, seriously, they had no other issues. That's never happened before. Every single time I get somebody that comes to me for, you know, a tongue-tie, there's always so much, so many more things that you have to work on. So those patients were, you know, done so much faster than everybody else. But I usually do therapy, and I talk about this on Lanchier and Armayo, the way that I prescribe my exercises. I usually do three or four. I barely do any. I don't know if I should tell them exactly what I do. Should I leave that for lunch in Amaya? Yes. Leave? Because it's going to lead into something else. There's, if you get into it, it's, it's not a, it's not a simple answer. It's, it's, it's a lot of reasoning behind I'll it. I'll just answer that then. Three to four. Three to four. But lunch in Amaya, explain exactly which exercises those are. And how often I ask them to do it. When you say so many other things going on, can you elaborate on some of those issues, please? You're making my life hard, Dr. Bill, again. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't ask me any difficult questions. <laughs> I interject for a second. Yes. For example, there was one patient recently referred by one of the other people. Uh, I'm a clinical advisor, and so one of my doctors referred the patient. The patient threw up every time he did his exercises wow that's a referral right there so it's a, so it's a neural problem it's a it's a uh, uh, um, emotional limbic and also the concept so you have to slip a little bit and get more myofunctional but not a full release necessarily because that's not going to do so it's one of those patients that you have to slip a little bit at a time Mm -hmm. And definitely refer, you guys cannot be afraid to refer, you know, my functional therapy is not going to fix everything. We are the little a piece of the puzzle. We are the middle piece of the puzzle, you know. This cannot expand everything or cut everything and think it's going to be that good because it's a whole complex <clears throat> system. It's the heart tissue, but let's remember it's the soft tissue that leads. Mm -hmm. It is the connections that leads. It's the neural the soft tissue that leads, not the heart tissue. The bone is the result. 
Definitely. Um, I have a question over here from Kyle, and I'm getting so many messages. Uh, Renata, with the inner Meyer course, will we be able to ask some therapy questions that we may have with patients we are working with? Definitely. We, I'm telling you, we help you guys. We want everybody to succeed. You know, this is not just a course that you're going to take and everything is recorded and you don't ever get to see us or talk to us and bye, go figure it out. No, we are here because we want you guys to become better therapists. We want you guys to feel confident. There are way too many people out there that need our help. And we know that you guys can help them because you guys have the, the background. We're just going to help you with the business and give you a little bit of guidance. That's it. That's why we're here. That's a big deal. I know. That's a big deal. In the form of concern, but that is not just a little bit of help. That makes a very big difference. Yes, I haven't even answered. When you say so many other things going on, can you elaborate on some of those issues, please? So somebody <clears throat> that comes in with a tongue tie, <sighs> what are some things that we see also? Uh, we see low tongue posture. What can happen if somebody develops with low tongue posture? A lot of times they're going to have a narrow bite. Why? Your tongue is supposed to suction to the roof of your mouth, making a palatal seal whenever you swallow, whenever you are at rest. If that doesn't happen and your tongue is slow, you have a different intraoral pressure you're not supposed to have. So whenever you swallow, you need to use your buccinators and your lips to help you create that seal in your mouth. Every single person who keeps their tongue low, if you ask them to swallow smiling, we always do this. Take a sip. Bite down and swallow. If they keep their tongue low, they have to close their lips. Otherwise, all the water come out. They don't know how to trap it with the tongue. So that's one of the things. Usually, the force of the cheeks will push the maxilla in, creating a high vaulted palate uh, and transverse deficiency on that maxilla. <clears throat> so that needs to be addressed. Uh, girls, I'm talking a lot. Angela and Tamara. That's really important, though, because now you have your compensation. The mm -hmm. buccinator, the secondary, so you, you have your, 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 they didn't develop their primary adult swallow, which is the trigeminal. So they're still, which is your secondary inducer, so they still are on their infantile, which is more facial, so they have so much compensation to swallow, and their body forms that way. And now you're talking about their tongue, so you have all that posture. So we need help then from a physical therapist. Mm -hmm. who looks at the uh, infant, the primitive reflexes, because if there's yeah. still a problem, then not going to get to swallow it. You know that one, Renata. Sure. It's Angela. <laughs> um, Dr. Martha, would you answer that question really quickly that I already took off the screen? How to expand? Adults. Um, would you believe that a 16-year-old is an adult? Though? Well, their mouth is, for sure. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And if they're male, it's that much harder because of the testosterone. Guys on Zoom, let me know if you can hear Dr. Martha or not. But she's going to answer this question, and then we're going to keep going with our live. Go ahead. Go ahead. So the first question is to ask is, what is the patient willing to do? That's the first question. And if they're already 16 and 18, they really did miss the the, uh, the mood issue. It, it really, I understand why the orthodontist is really for 12 and 14, but the, it really should be started way below at four years old and three years old. That's what that was, that was that. The development of the jaws really should be uh -oh. done at three. Oh, sure. My Sorry. functional and even an expander should be done, whether they're guides, whether they're light wire expanders. It's really important to establish that. And the tongue, re the tongue release is started in neonate. You should start with the pregnant of mother. So now let's go forward. 16 year old Dr. Martha, to... summarize it. We got a lot of questions coming in. 16 year old who has the canines that are still at top of they're very high, or they just need to come in a little bit and they don't want to wear braces, you can still use a osseous remodeling dental alveolar expander. A 20 year old to 30 year old, you still can expand, but sometimes they're so high voltage. They can't breathe. They don't breathe through their nose. This is the key. It's the nose breathing, because if they're not breathing through their nose, they're mouth breathers, you may have to do skeletal expansion, because 
if you do only remodeling with dental alveolar and they're still mouth breathers, they're going to need a nasal um, surgery. But sometimes it can be done with many implants with the MSCs. 30, 30, 40 year olds, you still can. But it has to ask the question if there's the bad mix, I can still use remodeling appliances. There are, are several. Yes, you can do vivos. Yes. yes, you can do. There's more and more. But the question is is it just an advancement or are we going to expand the jaw into the position? of where they need to breathe. But this complication, where this needs a complexity. They could have had a lot of staff apnea and they already have medical issues. So now you're gonna to have to address some of the medical issues with the medical team. This disorder of breathing is much more complex than we think, but it's actually very simple. What does a patient do? Are they willing to use remodeling appliances at night? Yes, and stick with that. Are they willing to open their nose is a problem? They've done two surgeries before. We may have to now go in with many implants and actually open the nose with that. Um, Dr. Martha, we have to go back to our live because we have people on Zoom waiting for us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I don't know how to, how to hang up. Do you know? Do you know? Oh, there you go. I got it. Bye, Dr. Martha. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming live with us. We need to do this more often now on Instagram, and we're going to start. Uh, but let me finish asking. Hey, Dr. Eric. Oh, my gosh. We're just going to have everybody come live. <laughs> oh, really? Hey, Dr. Eric. <laughs> there All he right, is. Other question. Um, Kyle is saying, I want to set up a nonprofit for my low-income patients. Any suggestions? Anyone done this? Um, Kyle, we have something that we are working on right now that we're going to be able to help people that uh, cannot afford um, these things. So hang in there, coming out <clears throat> next year. Next year, probably. Uh, Nicole said, I don't understand how this can be done strictly virtual. How do you do the photos measurements get done online? Tamara. Oh, that, that's a loaded question. <laughs> Um, we can use, I have a whole thing with simple practice. That's just how I do it. But um, we have techniques. That's what we go through, through uh, all the modules we go, like we were explaining in virtual and in person. So I have all the documents that you need done virtually and you can virtually send it to the patient through sample practice. They can sign everything um, and everything's within there. So it really, it's funny because I did, have always done it online. I just recently have opened um, a practice or a, in person, I do both. And it's funny how different it is. I had to reach out to Renata and Angela and listen to a lot of this stuff because I was like, wait, this is like totally different to me doing it online versus in person and the techniques and the lighting and all that kind of stuff. So it doesn't take much to to get both of it down but it definitely tweaks a little bit of um, the flow of how you do things definitely so the way that i set up my photos i have these forms that i share with you guys on launch in mayo uh, that i have taken examples of photos for my patients and i send it to them and i send them a list how to take the photos exactly listen lighting is very important i tell all my patients i am not going to see you guys in person so i'm very picky with my photos they have to be good in order for me to be able to uh, assess them correctly and sometimes i ask for videos sometimes i'll ask for something extra and i do go back and forth you know a lot of times i'm so sorry i can't see exactly what i need let's do this and if it's a younger child if the parent has a very hard time getting good photos i'm sorry you gotta go see somebody in person i'll be happy to refer you it is not a big deal. There are plenty of people for you to help. If you don't think you can do a good job, just go ahead and send them somewhere else. Um, Angela, do you want to read the next one? Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't have any other. I don't see any other questions. Who's other Dr. Than Martha? <laughs> Dr. Martha Cortez. She does our um, um, <clears throat> podcast. Somebody was talking about Clubhouse. She did Clubhouse with us for a while. And now she does our podcast. So if you guys go to Airway Circle Radio, we have a podcast. Uh, it's called Radio because it has three different hosts, three different shows. And Dr. Martha and Dr. Jennifer Hobson have um, The Beauty of Breathing is there. So she's a very famous, very big dentist up in New York City. <clears throat> 
Oh, oh. Yeah. So, yeah, so we, I've been, while you guys were talking and while Dr. Martha was talking, I was answering a lot of the questions Thank in here, you. but um, Sarah says, I had a four-year-old this week that I recommended see ortho for expansion and mom said, but he's so young. I begged her to go because I wish I had known what I know now when my son was four. Sarah, that is exactly my why. That is my why I'm a myofunctional therapist because my 18 year old just turned 18, headed off to college here soon. Um, and just has a lot of concerns and problems and it all started at birth. And it just all started there. And I just have such a nice long story, but I'll spare y'all and just say that um, it, it, had I known then what I know now, I would have seen Dr. Eric. Is Dr. Eric still on? I here? know he does some <laughs> yes, of the best releases. <laughs> Guys, seriously, some of the best releases. And for you guys talking about Clubhouse, yes, uh, Dr. Mars is going to start Clubhouse again in uh, September. And uh, for hours, it can have gone longer. Yes, if you need any of us to come talk about ADHD and everything, let us know. Let us invite us. So many parents say that exactly. We'll just wait until the baby teeth are gone. It is so sad that society really oh, believes that now. We um, have things to do. We, we I, can work on it. Kyle said, I get so frustrated when I see my own disorders and the medical and dental providers continue to say, wait until they have all their permanent teeth. Is that what you just read? They don't understand and many are not there to learn. Uh, if a patient seeing me in preparation for a tongue release, when do you know the patient is ready for the procedure? Marissa, that's a great question. How do you know the patient is ready to get a tongue tie release? So there's a couple of things that we have in uh, place, some goals that they have to be able to do. One, they have to suction, be able to suction their tongue way on the roof of their mouth for at least two minutes, nonstop. Do you guys want to say another goal, Angela? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, goodness. We're um, yeah. I do tone. tone. I look at the tone, the shakiness of the tongue to make sure, uh, for me, it's skinny tongue. Yeah, so it's, uh, there's One something called fasciculation. Fasciculation, whenever the patient sticks their tongue out, their tongue out in, a plank. in a plank. If they mm -hmm. shake if way they too shake much, that's way. called fasciculation. They are not ready. Um, you know, when that tongue is up, tongue is up at, rest, at rest for most of the day, that patient day. is ready. Because if your tongue is still low on the floor of your mouth, especially the back portion of your tongue, it's still low and you get a release, the chances for reattachment are a lot higher. Not just the parents, but dentists too. Yes, unfortunately, way too many dentists out there that still believe this, that we should wait. Um, I've asked every dentist I can find. I have no clue how many of them have ADHD themselves. That is so true. Uh, Any more, Maya? What about if you do functional with sutures? Great question. So you still need therapy before. Don't go releasing tongues before that patient has had uh, some work. Why? Because as soon as you release the tongue, all of a sudden the patient can all, you know, move this tongue like they were not able to before. It's going everywhere. What exactly do I do? So my functional therapy before gives you, <laughs> I know, I'm just saying for everybody, Dr. Williams. Um, gives you an understanding. <laughs> I say we're not a come on. Um, an understanding, so we increase awareness before the procedure. Where is your tongue supposed to be all the time? We we have tons of of little things that we do, you know, to increase awareness for that patient, so they keep their tongue up very often throughout the day. Uh, like Tamara was saying, we need to increase tone. We need to increase strength, um, and just make sure that the tongue is over there. Dr. Eric Amakan, he's fantastic. Yes, um, yes. Refer and everybody, you guys should all be Dr. Billy. You're not on Airy Circle. You need to. I don't think you are on our um, directory. You guys all need to join our directory. Dr. Martha, are you there? I don't think she's either. Is she? Everybody on the Zoom here, if you are a healthcare provider, you should be on that directory. Yes. These are for <laughs> these are for patients trying to find you as a provider. 
When, when does, I know we need to talk about lunch in Mayo. When does it start? It starts August 8th. It's right around the corner. Um, so we are super excited. The way that it works, every week we release a module. There is nine modules total. Uh, Tamara, do you have access to the modules? Can you tell, them what, tell us what they are? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. you're looking for so them? module. You got it? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, module one is how to start your business. Module two is setting up your office and both in person and virtual. Uh, module three is planning for a comprehensive evaluation. Module four, performing a comprehensive evaluation. So you need to watch all of us do it, which I think is for me, what if I was a new therapist or newer, that's just gold to me to be able to watch others. That's what I was missing when I started. Uh, module five, planning a therapy session. Module six, performing a therapy session. Module seven, top OMT tool picks that we each prefer. Um, module eight, making reports and referrals and module nine, marketing. So during module seven, our favorite tools, we actually show you guys all the exercises that we do with those tools. Everything, it is awesome. Um, links to everything. everything so. And links, how, where do you purchase these things? Um, Dr. Mm -hmm. Billy, how do you join the directory? You go to airwaycircle.com, you click on directory and click on add listing. You can put your logo, your photo, all your training, everything on there. I know there's some things I have to add. I just haven't touched that directory in so long. If you guys see anything, just let me know. But we are super excited about this course. We graduated 17 girls. The seats are limited. We want these classes to be small enough because like you guys were saying, we do give a lot and we do talk a lot. Angela, are you not here? She's asking yeah, me just to message again. her. She froze on the Insta. Okay, she just asked me to join again. Um, we give you guys so much of our time answering all these questions. We want to make sure that it's not too, you know, too big yeah, of a class. Of a class. So um, space is limited. And if you sign in, if you register for Launcher in Armayo by Sunday, you will get... What month are we on? August? August, no. September, October, November, December. Let's do five months of um, circle time. Circle time is not available anymore, by the way, just for you guys to, to, to know. Circle time uh, was available by itself. You could choose to do circle time only. That's our study club that meets once a month where we share cases only. That is no longer available uh, unless you get the golden circle the golden circle is a hundred dollars a month membership where you have access to everything on airway circle besides the big huge courses so you have access to all of our weekly webinars plus everything that's already recorded and on there you know um, our clubhouse recordings that we have our uh, we have a research folder that you guys have access to um i hear somebody typing <laughs> I'm trying to yeah, I'm answer Haiti. <laughs> I'm Sorry, I'm it's like too. that cat. <laughs> okay, so the Golden Circle is our new membership. Right now we have two options. You can do $35 a month. You get all of the webinars recorded. And you can do the $100 a month. And you get uh, all the webinars. Circle Time, which is a study club. The book club that meets every two months. Um, the research folder. And every single one of our monthly courses, our monthly courses are incredible by itself. Um, every month or so, some months we skip, we have um, these amazing speakers come to a course. We have a course on CBCT. We have a course on lymphatic drainage. We have a course on a special needs population and uh, myofunctional therapy. Uh, we have a course on sleep disorder breathing and myofunctional therapy. There's just and there's like two on breathing. It's incredible. You guys have access to all of that. Uh, if anybody wants to join the membership, if anybody joins the membership tonight, we'll give them a book. Uh, Angela, do you have the book there with you? I do. Okay, so we can give one to Launch Your Mayo and one to um, one to Launch Your Mayo and one to whoever joins the membership. Dr. Billy, join the membership. <laughs> <laughs> and you can be a part of our book club. Yes. 
There you go. So the book club, the book that we're doing this month is August 21st. It's called, it's, uh, called Wide Awake and Dreaming. It's a book about narcolepsy. It's a really good book. He said me. Do you want it? <laughs> I got to join the membership. Talk about and Julie, it. And Julie, uh, the author, she autographed it to Dear Airway Circle member. Yes, and she's going to be there live talking to us about it. Um, so she was a law student when she started having issues with narcolepsy. Hey, Leslie, how are you? Um, any other my, uh, lunch or my questions? New modules release every yeah, Monday. Yeah. I think we release it every Sunday. Every Sunday. Every so, well, yeah, yeah, once in a while, I'll release them a little bit early if it was a short module. Um, yeah. And the first Circle one is time. on the 8th correct okay so it starts on the eighth and then every week we release a new module it's nobody had an issue we actually had given everybody two weeks for each module and everybody was done sooner so we started reducing it and now it's a two-month course about eight or nine weeks um and literally in eight weeks think about this you guys are going to be ready and done your business is going to be booming you're ready to, you know, be successful on your business. You don't have to look back. Everything is set in place. All your forms are done. Your all your setup is done. You know exactly what to do when you have a patient in front of you. You know exactly how to move forward with therapy, choosing your therapy sessions. You have everything you need to write your reports. I mean, it's literally everything you need. This is it. We are super excited for whoever joins. Um. So you guys, whoever joins to, uh, up to Sunday, I think I'm going to leave. Should I do one? Remember last time we did something different each day. That's what we're going to do. So if anybody joins tonight, yes, because we do something different every day. If anybody joins tonight, you get circle time until, until December. And tomorrow, or tomorrow, it might not be as good as today. I'm just going to put that out there. Is Launcher Inner Mayo available to sign up for non-Airway Circle members? Yes, Launcher Inner Mayo can be for anybody. Asking for a friend, <laughs> Dr. Eric. <Harris. laughs> <laughs> yes, you do not have to be an Airway Circle member, but Launcher Inner Mayo is uh, for that person that has already taken a malfunctional therapy course, and they're still a little lost. They don't know exactly how to start their business, how to start seeing patients and feeling you know, confident that they have everything in place. So you guys need to get, it's Friday night. We need to do more of this on Friday night because you guys are fun. <laughs> I love that Danelle said, ooh, circle time is like mini Mayo courses. Yes. Every oh, single yes. time we meet, it's a case study. I'm a member. This was really for a friend. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you better be a member. Dr. Eric is a member. He is. <laughs> it's like for me. It's for me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys <laughs> you all are a mess we <laughs> oh my gosh i don't even have my wine with me okay um so every week we release a new module do you guys have any questions about the course i'm grabbing the yes, link right are. now oh yes and uh, tamara angela if you can we have a link for you guys to join launch your inner mayo it's on instagram the link is in the bio on instagram there's one for the three-day live and one for the course itself so for anybody that joins tonight you get circle time and all the past stuff that we've had on circle time all the past cases that we have had and on circle time we share a lot of amazing tools we share a lot of amazing exercises there you and go the is link is up thanks tamara thank you and it's not available anymore by itself so you either get just the webinars or you get everything hey Kimmy. Look who's here. Kimmy's ah. here. <laughs> guys we need to do this more often so i was actually talking to the girls and you know we used to do clubhouses on tuesday nights we're gonna start doing instagram lives on tuesday night doctor oh my goodness how dr are you? jasmine dr jasmine is in hey girlfriend can you say no. uh, dr jasmine used to do clubhouse with us too so we're going to be coming on instagram as you guys can tell instagram is fun what's your venmo <laughs> shut up i'll give you you can have my venmo no I'm kidding you can have <laughs> no there's a link <laughs> dr billy there's a link we posted it on um on the zoom uh Rena or 
<laughs> Let's see, Billy, send Tamara a message on here and Tamara will send you the link. Kidding. You're a mess. Not gonna, if he joins, if he joins tonight, <laughs> I'll personally deliver your book, Dr. Billy, about narcolepsy. <laughs> I'll you mail know, it to I you, think... Renata. You can bring it to him. <laughs> I'm not on Zoom. I know. Everybody on Zoom. I think that we need to hang up and keep the party going on Instagram. <laughs> Everybody come on to Instagram. He's not because kidding. I'm not okay. kidding. We'll see. If anybody here on Instagram, again, we'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. <clears throat> um, Eastern time here. What are we going to be talking about tomorrow? Referrals? Tomorrow, we are going to talk about, is it uh, module three, four, or four, five? <laughs> you guys tell us. What do we need to talk about? <laughs> what are we talking We made all that stuff, and I'm like, uh, what are we doing? Well, now? we listed all of them. Yeah, so we referral listed is actually the last day. <clears throat> all right so tomorrow we we talk about planning for a comprehensive evaluation performing one planning a therapy session and performing a therapy session it's um all yeah, right guys really well, that's talk it. About whoever more. joins tonight remember you get circle time and i think that we already have two people that signed up if you are here and listening to me, good night, Dr. Martha. If, if anybody is here uh, that has joined already and I have not given you guys anything, I will honor the circle time until December. Um, and then tomorrow we're going to pick something else to give. And then Sunday we're going to pick something else to give. Um, but anyways, go ahead. Kyle's asking if we're signing up, is tomorrow something we should still attend? Should she still come um, tomorrow? You She's can. You can. Be, you don't have to. You don't have to come live. But if you'd like to come interact with us, as you can tell, it's super it's fun. fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bring a glass of but wine it, tomorrow night. <laughs> yes. But if you are signing up for the course, it's going to be, this are going to be recorded and they're going to be on the course. It's the first thing you're going to see whenever you sign up for the course. Um, but everything is going to be on there so you can watch it later. How long right. are you How long are you session? Are they, we say though. an hour but we have gone we have gone an hour yes. and a half on everyone yeah That's and there's true. been no complaints and as the questions roll in we stay on just because we love to answer questions and we love to talk about things and whatever you have questions about um even off topic questions we're there to answer them for you you know what we need to do line tree and my people need to join our whatsapp we just need to put them on circle time whatsapp We'll talk about it. I agree. Circle time, WhatsApp is so much fun. See you guys. I like to give everything. <laughs> Do the lives this weekend. They're fun. Everyone asks great questions, different questions. Yes. Yeah. Renata, are you wearing the aura ring? Yeah! I just got <laughs> an great aura catch, ring. Diana. Yeah. Yes. I just got an aura ring. And it is awesome. I love it. Love it, love it. I actually have the uh, trial pack because you have to get a trial pack and some plastic ones first to try see which size is yours um going head out we'll share awesome thank you dr eric thank you we'll share inner my course with my friend thank you guys you got me on here while on vacation <laughs> dr billy wants to know the coupon code <laughs> take care thank you dr eric um don't have one yet but wanted one yes it is awesome um I love it. And I do, and I, I'm actually doing auto sleep with my watch and the aura ring. And I'll be able to show you guys, show you guys the comparisons, what one is doing versus the other. What kind of information do you get with one versus the other? I'll post about that. Uh, but I think that's it. We're going to stay here all night if we don't hang up. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I am so excited to see how many of you are going to join us for this course. I am telling you, and it says on the bottom, if you feel like you didn't learn anything new, you can get your money back 100% guaranteed. If you're not happy with launching or my course, you guys know how I am. I do not have an issue. Kyle just said, okay, I registered. So I told her, send me your address and I'm going to send you this book. Awesome. Welcome, welcome, Kyle. Super excited to have you guys. 
And I'll go ahead and send you the coupon for uh, circle time. You got to use the coupon uh, to have it until December. Guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Y'all are awesome. Again, if you need to reach us at all. Oh, uh, Hayde is going to join us too. Yay, thank you. <clears throat> awesome. Just let us know if we can help. And Dr. Billy is signing up now. I will check it out. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Y'all have a wonderful night. Thanks for joining us. We had a lot of people on Instagram too, so that was fun. Uh, and we'll see you tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All righty. Have a good night. Bye. -bye. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.